Well, I just looked about a minute ago like he's saying, well, forget defense. I'm just going to go after him. And he came in wide open. His arms just spread wide apart and managed to get to Ruelas. He did. He's put him in a defensive posture here for the entire round. I think right now, however, Ruelas is there because he wants to be. the slow starting Rafael Ruelas. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, you know, he doesn't look particularly rusty to me. Uh, he, he, in fact, he looks about the same as I've always, <laughs> he's always looked. He's throwing with a lot of punches. Ruelas, he's connected with a lot. And as usual, he's been hit with a few as well. That's right. That uppercut has been a very effective punch for him. But I'll tell you what, Hickler Law's not going anywhere. At least not at the moment. We saw Loud give a very good performance here against Ben Tacky with Tacky 17 and 0. Lost, lost a very close decision to Tacky. That was a very good fight. Lau is a member of Team Freedom from Cuba, although he's not the typical Team Freedom guy in that he came here with his parents when he was only four years old. He didn't make some daring escape from Cuba. Get over here. Got to be a very high punch count for Rafael Ruelas. Coming to the end of round number three, it's been an action fight so far, no question about it. Oh, come on. Doesn't your body love fruit? Everybody loves fruit. The new Cotton Boxes collection from Fruit. More fashionable, more comfortable. New print, new style, the new fruit. Everybody loves it's Cotton Boxes from Fruit of the Limb. Go out and get it. We know you want to do more with your photos. Now you can on a Gateway Essential PC that includes a digital camera and the software you need to bring people closer together. All for $42 a month with an Intel Celeron processor. Call 1-800-GATEWAY. in the business to install them and a lifetime guarantee honored at every Midas nationwide. Go safely. Go Midas. Wipe that water. Welcome back. We start round number four. And it has been uh, all offense thus far. Yeah, real high volume of punches thrown so far in this uh, fight. Both fighters have been uh, utilizing their offense. And uh, Raphael has been the more accurate of the two. He has uh, really thrown a lot of punches and landed a lot of them as well, as you can see. Right now, let's go to uh, Sean O'Grady with a very interested observer, and that is the brother of Rafael Ruelas, Gabe Ruelas, uh, the WBC Super Featherweight Champion. Sean? And Gabe is coming off of a nine-month layoff. He had a victory recently in a fight. What is Rafael going through in this fight right here tonight? Well, basically, it's, uh, I believe it's a lot of rustiness, just like myself. I, I fight and I feel the same way. But it's a matter of rounds and fights, too. Uh, today, you know, I, I think four or five rounds, you start feeling warmer, harder, and more into uh, throwing more punches and into uh, really being in there in the ring, that you, that realizing that you are in a fight. What are you telling him to do and why? Well, basically, you know, I mean, because I'm his brother and I've seen him fight all my life. I know that he likes to stay in there because he's so strong. He throws a lot of hard punches. But I think the best thing for him to do is move, give himself some time to warm up, get the rustiness off with more rounds. So, I mean, so, you know, he, he's, he's used to knocking people out so early, so he needs to give himself some time. Hickler Lau is tough. I know you're also telling him to protect his eye because you have a black eye. How'd you get that? Well, you know, this happens in the sport, you know, but you try not to not to get any black eyes, but I bet he doesn't get those that much because he hits so hard, he doesn't give the guys time to, to hit him, you know? But basically, that's what I'm telling him not to do. Right here, give him time. It doesn't matter. Right, okay, Gabriel Ruiz. Back to you guys. This one's heating up. Gabriel's happy over here in this corner. Started out heating up. Thanks very much, Sean. Thanks to Gabriel Ellis. And uh, the pattern for this fight is clearly set. This is just going to be the last guy standing. That's all there is to it. Yeah, and it looked for a moment as though uh, Hicklett Lau was beginning to take command in the first minute of this round. He had the, uh, Rafael Ruelas dinged a little bit. But Ruelas in the last minute has come on a little bit better. Well, again, Hicklett Lau turned him, hit him with a left hand. It's been a terrific fight. Hand and that hurt 
Chandler a lot doing exactly what he told us he was going to do. For better or worse. Well, he's coming out with a lot of youthful enthusiasm, I guess you could say, Barry, in this one. Long way to go, remember. There's been an awful lot of punches thrown. Ruelas landed some great body shots right here in the last few seconds. And used his head to get Hicklett Lau off him there, too. It's been a war. We're coming back. He's going to leave himself open, see that arm, oh, go, come go, back, go. tries to throw a punch, and it gets caught up on the top rope, and he's unable to throw it, and it leaves himself open for a hicklet lao counter. That would be very dangerous. Well, this could absolutely come down to survival of the fittest. There's just been a ton of punches thrown. Well, Rafael Morales throughout his career has shown nothing but great heart, Barry, so I expect to see it from him throughout this fight. Hicklet Lau has got to show that he can be in this kind of a pitched battle and maintain that heart, maintain his will. One of the sequins has uh, come off of uh, Hicklet Lau's trunks and landed on the uh, cheek of uh, Rafael Morales. He looks like Wonder Woman. <laughs> his face is sparkling. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go work out. Oh, you have a free. Wow, uh, staying away here in this early going in the fifth round. And we talked about Joe Goosen and the fact that he is not training either of the Ruelas brothers. And Joe hasn't spoken publicly about it, so we're basically all reading between the lines on of that silence, Barry. And uh, Dan Goosen, the promoter for America Presents, is now turned southpaw for a moment. Dan Goosen has said, well, I'm going to go ahead and promote him because I don't want some other promoter going out and exploiting these guys as pieces of meat. We'll take it on a fight-by-fight -fight basis, let them fight once, and we'll see what they've got, and then we'll go out and, and decide from there. Yeah, the Goosens and the Realises have been uh, an interesting story, and uh, there's a lot of loyalty amongst the Goosens and the two Realis brothers. And it continues. Loud turning southpaw in this round. Choosing to fight this round at long range, too. This could be a case of both fighters taking a round off. No, but Lau really doesn't have a good jab when he turns left handed. He just kind of paws with it. Rafael's jab is something I've never felt that he used. 